Uh, this is Paul. Yes. <laughs> I'm just sitting here and I was uh, reading this about the witness statements and work product. Yeah. <laughs> the defense is entitled to receive the written or recorded statements and the substance of any oral statements <laughs> of witnesses that the prosecuting attorney intends to call. Yes. Mm hmm. Now, uh, my concern is, yes, that uh, as the accused, uh -huh, where I don't have any rights as a witness, uh -huh, uh, the prosecution, however, cannot be required to disclose work product huh, that is material which contains the opinions, theories, or conclusions of investigating or prosecuting a agencies right the fact that the interview of the victim or witness was conducted by a prosecuting attorney does not in itself establish the statement is work product state versus garcia pooch 45 uh, wnapp 132 yes <laughs> Now, I know uh, it's some sort of top secret uh, work product on the part of the prosecuting attorney. Yes. To not give me an actual statement from the alleged victim. Pooch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, as the accused, since you never gave me any evidence, right, <laughs> you didn't protect my rights to be a witness on my own behalf. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, this idea that a prosecuting attorney could interview the victim, right, uh, on approximately August 8th or some time before that, considering the incident took place on her 47th birthday. <clears throat> uh, this concept of the interviewing of the victim or witness was conducted by the prosecuting attorney does not in itself establish a statement is work product. <laughs> then there's the records of domestic violence program. Communications between domestic violence victim advocates and victims are privileged. Yes. Those client records maintained by domestic violence programs which are not covered by privilege are non-discoverable, mm -hmm, absent a court order. Yes. Mm -hmm. Prior to ordering disclosure, the court must conduct a, an in-camera review to determine whether the records are relevant and whether the probative value of the records is outweighed by the victim's privacy. <laughs> now, you arrested me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, for violating the protection order in Brendan, Washington on my wife's 47th birthday? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, a crisis responder did the interviewing, and that's uh, privileged records? Pooch! Uh, the violence victim advocate known as the crisis responder, Carol Kirk? Yes. And uh, my public defender didn't think they should discover exactly what was said, considering I'm the accused. <laughs> Now, I know it's not uh, the actual work material of the prosecuting attorney, Brett Roberts. Pooch! And since I've never read anything about what actually happened on June 16th of 2017, yes. Uh, what, when is it that I get to use the court system? Pooh! <laughs> now, it seemed that Carol Kirk said that I was going to have an evaluation if I was not admitted to a mental facility. Pooh! <laughs> If you didn't uh, involuntarily admit psychotropic medication against my will, yes, mm -hmm. that they were going to do the evaluation and they were going to make sure, but I had no right to any work product on the part of the prosecuting attorney. Mm -hmm. I had no right to motion the court to discover exactly what happened because I wasn't there. Now, it seems that the state is abusing their power because of their knowledge that it's privileged information, yes, that any time a petitioner alleges victimization, pouch, that they don't have to protect my rights as a respondent. <laughs>